No, you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> Today's Daily Dose of Stupid, I, I gotta say, usually what I do is I give a lot of commentary on an article or a statement and, and talk about how stupid it is. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I have to talk a whole lot about this one. I'm just gonna let the clip speak for itself. So here we go. This is an interview on SiriusXM by David Webb, and he's talking to a lady named Arvi, uh, Arriva Martin, who happens to be a political commentator on CNN. So he invites her onto a show, he gets a uh, he gets into a discussion with her, and uh, I think you'll enjoy what ensues. Take a look. Their requirement, their primary requirement, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of network, be that they are capable of covering politics. For instance, if you're going to cover political campaigns, sports may not be the most qualified background. And that brings to the point of if people want to get into these fields, regardless of color, I've chosen to cross different parts of the media world, done the work so that I'm qualified to be in each one. I never considered my color the issue. I considered my qualifications the issue. Well, David, you know, that that's a whole nother long conversation about white privilege and things that you uh, have the privilege of, of doing that people of color don't have the privilege of. How do and I have the privilege your, of white privilege? David, by virtue of being a white male, you have white privilege. This whole long conversation, I don't have time to uh, get into Ariva, I hate to break it to you, to but you should have been better prepped. I'm black. Okay, then... I stand See, you went to white privilege. privilege. This is the falsehood in this. You went immediately with an assumption. Your people, obviously, or you didn't look. You're talking to a black man they who started out in rock radio in Boston, who crossed the paths into hip-hop, rebuilding one of the greatest black stations in America, and went on to work for Fox News, where I'm told apparently blacks aren't supposed to work, but yet... You come with this assumption and you go to white privilege. David, That's actually David, insulting. Correct. It is, and I apologize because my people gave me wrong information. They, they told well, me. The they whole white privilege thing is insulting. David, can, I, can I apologize and correct the record? I want to apologize. I was given wrong information about you, and I apologize. But based on my so color, white... you were going to something that I was part of. And just to add to it, my family background is white, black, Indian, uh, Arawak, Irish, Scottish. I mean, it's so diverse. I'm like the UN when it comes to this. And this is part of the problem with driving a narrative around a construct like white privilege. Privilege is one thing where applied wealth, economy, uh, various social factors, but not necessarily determined by color of skin. All right, so as you can see, just a massive foot-in-your-mouth moment for Ariva Martin on CNN, and just hysterical. She didn't know that David Webb happened to be a black guy. She just assumed, because of his stance on the issue, that he was white. And she just made that assumption, went with it, just uh, based on essentially nothing other than the fact that she happened to disagree with him. And so that is what is really so astounding about this is that when you're looking at it, for most liberals, they just do not understand how to argue if they can't use an ad hominem attack. They don't know how to do it because they've never had to do it before. Most liberals understand that once they, they don't have a handle on the issue or it's very clear that they're losing the argument, they jump straight to race, sex, something. All they know how to do is to attack the person making the argument not the argument itself. They go to the ad hominem argument because it's the only thing they know how to do. And race is one of the only quivers or only arrows in their quiver. And so because of that, what they do is they try to use that as a distraction to defer the argument onto other grounds. And so instead of arguing whether or not you think that we should have health care for all, for example, you're arguing about whether or not you are a racist. Prove to me that you're not a racist. We're just going to assume that you're a racist and then try to detract if we find out otherwise. Or in her case, if you have, quote unquote, white privilege, which, of course, David Webb doesn't because he's a black guy. But 
uh, if you have white privilege, then that means that you automatically are not going to be able to see the issue correctly. That you automatically, because of your white privilege, can't understand the issue, which is incredibly demeaning and insulting. Because when you're breaking it down, that's what they're saying. They're saying because of your race, you are not capable of understanding this issue correctly. That would be like me saying to somebody, because uh, when you break it down into its basic rudimentary elements, what it is saying is you as a person of this race are incapable of understanding this. Now think about what would happen to me if I as a broadcaster had a caller on that was black or you know Asian or whatever, and I said, look, I, I get it. As a black person, you just don't understand economics. And you can't because you're black. And black people don't get economics. I would be fired within the minute. Like, my boss would just, he would get a call and he would walk into my studio and throw me out right then and there. And you know what? I I would understand that. But for some reason, when it comes to this white privilege moniker that we've been able to throw onto people, when you disagree with somebody and they happen to be white, black people and people of other races too feel like they can just throw that out there and, and basically that's an excuse for them to say, look, the reason that you're not agreeing with me is not because you're an irrational person. It's just because you're white and you can't understand. Anytime you're in any discussion with anybody, regardless of, of what the explanation is or the rationale is, if they come from a position of you can't understand – they're not interested in having a conversation with you. They're interested in telling you how you're wrong. Because if they really believe that you can't understand, then there's no reason to have a conversation with you. If they really believe that you are incapable of understanding their point, then why are they talking to you in the first place? The only right, logical explanation for that, if they don't believe that you can understand the issue correctly, is that they want to talk down to you and make themselves feel better. Because if you can't, explain it to somebody there is no reason for you to convey that information other than puffing yourself up and trying to make them look bad that's the only explanation left and that's part of the reason that this white privilege thing is so stupid look there are certain people that have a lot of advantages in life i wouldn't necessarily call it privilege because if you understand the origin of the word privilege that means special laws so if the law specifies that certain people get this advantage and this one doesn't then, okay, you have a point, but to my knowledge, in America, there are no such laws. Unless you're talking about affirmative action, which actually benefits the minorities at the expense of the majority. But nonetheless, we won't even get off into that. If you're talking about just privilege, there are certain people that are born more, more wealthy than others. But, I mean, if you're looking at it proportionally, there is a higher level of poverty amongst some minorities – but the most prosperous demographic in America is not white people. It's Asians. And so are we going to start calling out Asian privilege now? Which, again, I don't think is a thing. But what you're talking about is just having means and having a good family life. Which, by the way, I would think it would be insulting as a minority person for someone to just assume that my family life or my means financially – were less than adequate just based on the color of my skin. It is another form of racism. And that's really the problem with the whole white privilege moniker. So she really came to it, even though she shouldn't have brought it up, even if he had been white, even if David Webb happened to be a white guy. The white privilege thing is not an argument, and it doesn't make any sense. They throw it out there because it defers from the fact that they can't actually make a solid logical argument without resorting to ad hominem attacks. They, it's, it's just not possible for them to do. So here's the really where all this boils down to. Thinking that all white people or all people of any race are incapable of understanding a concept or understanding an argument merely because of the color of their skin is by definition racist and ought to be decried by everybody. Now, this is a funny scenario of where it happened to where she assumed that that was the reason that he didn't agree with her. And, of course, that argument fell on its face the second she found out he actually is black. But that's really the whole point, isn't it? 
that when we disagree with someone, we can't just assume that the reason because of that is because of something as stupid as the level of melanin in a person's skin. Okay, so y'all know I'm a big stats and numbers guy. So here's some fun facts for you. People that like this video and subscribe to the Tactics Radio YouTube channel are 200% more likely to be satisfied with their internet video content and 400% more likely to have a reasonable, rational conversation about religion or politics with their friends and neighbors. Also, four out of five people that subscribe to this channel have more successful and fulfilling lives. And that fifth guy was just a social justice warrior with a stick up his butt. Also, another fun fact, 82% of all statistics on the internet are completely made up.